Toysius here, and I am back yet again to give you guys another news update. By now, you probably have seen most, if not all, of the new Marvel Legends series retro 3.75 inch figures that were revealed. But just in case you haven't, I just wanted to kind of talk about them, and I thought they were kind of cool. I'm digging this line. I think they're fun. I have high hopes for this line. I want to see vehicles... And I'd like to see more accessories, powers, playsets, displayable options. I think that that would be fun and really lend it to this mini micro series. They are a scale all their own, but being very reminiscent of Mego Pocket Superheroes, Secret Wars, old Toy Biz stuff. There's a lot of fun to be had here, but it just needs that little extra oomph. But we did get some reveals, starting off with the toy arc. If they haven't checked them out, please do. They revealed the Carol Danvers figure, 3.75 inch figure. It's like in her Warbird costume. This is for Wave 1 that will be hitting targets in March and then subsequently every other retailer a month later in April 2021. But it's cool that they're kind of starting off with these characters. And of course... The card art is really what makes it, and they just pop and sizzle. Total retro goodness. Yeah, you, know, you cut the card out on the back, a little bit of a bio and such. So they are look like they're they're having fun with these. I just I want those accessories. I want the I want the stuff. I want the stuff that goes with the stuff. But here's a good look at the Carol Danvers figure. Again, it's kind of funny. They're not go. They're they're going with the Avengers, but they're not going Ms. Marvel, which is. I think a good thing at the moment. Warbird is a choice. I like this uh, figure coming out. Shardimus Prime over on, if you don't know who that is, come on. He, on his YouTube channel, went and revealed the brand new Hulk figure. And this Hulk kind of carries a little bit of the, the Mego sort of style to it. Just really amps up the whole Hulkness green of it. And again, the card art pops. You can do all the stuff, cut the card out, yada yada. But it's just cool, and I'm glad. I'm glad that they're doing bigger type figures now. Don't expect him to be like this big, huge behemoth of a, of a figure. Maybe they could do that for other ones. That would be kind of cool. But you can see the face is cool. The green, the pink, borderline magenta type trunks, pants he's got. So he's a cool, big, burly figure, and. Steve Evans from Marvel actually shared a photo over on a Facebook page for Marvel Legends 3.75 inch figures and it shows off a little bit of the scale. So yeah, Hulk, while not huge, right? Huge, massive Hulk, he's still bigger than the characters and that's a good thing. And by the way, these people are really cool. If you are on Facebook and you want a cool Marvel Legends Retro 3.75 inch collectors group, go and check these people out. These are really cool. I'm on there. A lot of other people are on there. So, yeah, do the whole retro thing. Next up is Magneto. And, of course, Mr. Pixel Dan himself, he revealed this one, the Master of Magnetism. Very cool to have some more X-Men characters, right? Wave, well, the initial wave. We'll say Wave Zero for Hasbro Pulse of course, had Cyclops in it. So it's cool to be getting Magneto. And again, to kind of reiterate for, let's say, quote unquote, a wave one, a new wave one, a lot of Marvel's heavy hitters are absent for retail. And that, you know, that's kind of cool. That kind of shows how Marvel characters have transcended just the main characters. You know what I mean? Spider-Man, all that kind of stuff. This is actually kind of cool. I like Magneto. I like the Hulk. Carol Danvers, Magneto looks great, he's got all the lines, he's got the helmet, comes with a cape, so really can't complain, it's just, I wish there were more powers, powers and stuff, some accessories, and then of course, I myself, Toysh is here, got to reveal the Fantastic Four's Human Torch, Mr. Johnny Storm himself, awesome looking figure, he'll be about like 5 POA, he doesn't have like the boot rotation, but he does have that really cool Jack Kirby sort of look flame on fire where the lines take over and that's really cool to me you know reminiscent of the original human torch and now going into johnny storm i think that that really fits the character and i think that what they're doing kind of implementing more of the comic book aspect gives that real retro feel to these so i'm totally digging it and i hope that they continue they said they're gonna do more so this is, i mean expect a lot 
more of these. Look at this Johnny Storm right here. So again, these will be out around March at Target first, and then subsequently everyone else around April, about 10 bucks each, single carded. But I'm curious to know what you guys think about all of these new reveals. Do you have the first Wave Zero? Do you plan on getting these? Comment below, let me know. Let's talk everything Marvel Legends 3.75 inch. And I'm going to leave you guys with that. As always, drink some great coffee, eat some great food. But most importantly, remember when it comes to these little teeny tiny figures, that's a perfect scale for some play sets and some vehicles and some stuff that goes with them. Dag nabbit. Come on, Hasbro, you can do this. And when they do, let me know what you found. I'll talk to you guys soon. Adios. Mm -hmm.